Here we are in section 5.6 with the answers to number 25 through 30. Now, with these, we're told to factor the following and solve. Well, indeed, that's what we're going to be doing is factoring, but make sure we get it equal to 0 first, because getting it equal to 0 makes the factoring usable, valuable. So here we go. This one's equal to 0. Step 2, let's factor it. Pull out the greatest common factor. 4x plus 4. Okay, and then what's left, this is a trinomial leading coefficient 1, or you could recognize, hey, that's x squared, that's 4, so this is probably x plus 2 squared, and we've got two of them, and then the 4 is right there. There, we now have it factored. Look at step number 3, each piece, or each factor, equal to 0. 4 equals 0. Well, that's foolish. We're not even going to write that guy down. x plus 2 equals 0. That gives us x equals a negative 2, and x plus 2 equals 0. That gives us x equals negative 2 again. So there's number 25. It just has one answer, negative 2, but it happened twice. So number 26, uh, x squared equals 9. Step number 1, first of all, get that thing equal to 0. So let's subtract 9 from both sides. And now we have it equal to 0, and we can factor this. This is a difference of squares. So we get x minus 3, x plus 3. That equals 0. Now it's factored. Each one set it equal to 0, so we can let this guy equal 0, and we get x equals 3. We can set this guy equal 0, and we get x equals a negative 3, and we get two answers. Now, notice that both of these will work. If we take 3 up here for x, 3 squared is 9. Negative 3 squared is also 9, and we get both answers that way. Number 27. Ooh, first step, get it equal to 0. So add 35 to both sides. We get x squared minus 14x plus 49 equals 0. So that was with a plus 35 here and a plus 35 there. So now we've got to factor it. This is a trinomial with leading coefficient 1. So that's a fast one. We have an x and an x. And the numbers that times to 49 and add to negative 14 would be a negative 7 and a negative 7. Or you could have recognized that x squared and 49 were both perfect squares, and that half of negative 14 is negative 7. That would also work. So set them equal to 0 as individual factors, and we get x equals 7 as an answer, and that will give us the same one. So we get x equals 7 happening twice. Number 28, we get y squared plus 16 equals 0. Good, we're already equal to 0. Factor this thing. This Here's a perfect square, and there's a perfect square, but if you look at that guy right there, this is a sum. So right now, this is not factorable. Um, we're not going to solve this one right now because uh, we've only learned how to solve these by factoring, and that is not solvable. So it's not factorable here, and so right now, we do not have a solution that will work. We'll do that later on in your math career. Number 29, get it equal to 0, so subtract 3x from both sides, and we get 3x squared minus 3x minus 36 equals 0. Good. That 0 out there makes factoring worthwhile. Now for factoring, we pull out the greatest common factor. We see there we've got an x squared minus an x minus 12. Now this is a trinomial with leading coefficient 1. That's nice. That's a good quick one x and x. Now we got to think, what times is to negative 12? Let's write it out here. That adds to a negative 1. Well, 1 and 12, that'll be do like a negative 11 or something. Um, 2 and 6, that would do like a negative 4. And 3 and 4. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll give us a negative 1. So we have a plus 3 and a minus 4. And that 3 right there. So now it's factored. Now each piece equals 0. 3 equals 0. That's embarrassing. Don't even write that guy down. And then x plus 3 equals 0 will give us x equals a negative 3. And x minus 4 equaling 0 will give us x equals a positive 4. So we have two answers, negative 3 and 4 right there. Good. Now we'll try number 30. We're already equal to 0, so step number 2, we're going to factor it. This is a perfect square. That's a perfect square, and that's a difference. So we can do this. This is x plus 13, x minus 13 equals 0. And so that gives us x plus 13 equals 0. Set this piece to 0, and we get x equals a negative 13. Set this piece to 0, and it gives us x equals a positive 13. And there we have that one. Good.